Buonasera. Welcome to another episode of Regional Italian Cuisine. My name is Caterina and on this program we're going to be visiting that beautiful area in southwest Italy of Campania. Of course the capital city of Campania is Napoli and Napoli is basically a beautiful old town, uh, very heavily populated and of course it is the home to not just pasta, which they call the king of this region, but of course pizza. It is where nobility meets the povera cucina and that's where really pizza had its birthplace. Uh, as a region it's bounded by uh, the sea of course so we had lots of uh, seafood products but then you, the beautiful uh, alluvial plains, volcanic fields which supplies us with those very famous pomodori being tomatoes, the olives that are grown there. This is the land which makes pizza what we know. And on that note, let's go and meet um, a wonderful uh, colleague, uh, Johnny Di Francesco, who uh, is going to take us through the paces of making the perfect pizza. Hello to John, welcome to the show. Thank you. Is it John or Johnny or Giovanni? It's Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, I love that. Now, Johnny, just tell me something. Of course, your family hails from the Campania region, mainly the province of Caserta. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my grandparents were born in, um, in Mignano, which mm -hmm. is a Province, well, yeah, it's you know, within the province of Caserta. It's the little yeah. towns because we talk about the little towns, yeah. That's right. Um, and also, my dad was born in that town, yeah. um, and my mum was born in Sicily. So, I've got a oh, you got a real got blend, a a real blend. Yeah. So, yeah. so I guess is that part of the reason as to why that you, I, I guess, you've dedicated part of your career to pizza? Pretty much. Um, from when I was a child, I, I just enjoyed. Um, you know, making pizzas. I, I started when I was, you know, 14 years old, and yeah. and you know, I knew from that point that I wanted to continue, and 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 I did, and and only you know three years ago or so, I, I thought I want to go back to my um, my roots and and find out more about the pizza napoletana. And of course, that actually uh, brings me to a very important point because I know you're going to laugh when you say this, because you are part of the association. Now, tell me what it's called. Associazione Vera Pizza Napoletana. He was saying to me, don't ask me that question. Associazione. Is that, is that again? Associazione. You said it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a body, basically, that was instigated somewhere in 1980s. Yeah, 1984. 1984. Um, and, of course, it really became visible on the world stage in 2004 uh, when it was asked. It, in fact, it really is, if you liken uh, Chianti to a DOC, that's what this association is because it keeps everything authentic. Right. And the people that are part of this association, I guess, are pizza makers, the people that supply the tomatoes, the people that supply the flour. Everything has to be fairly rigid, is that correct? Pretty much. And I know that you are the only person here in Australia mm -hmm. that had an accreditation from the uh, association. Yeah, that's right. Associates. Associates. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this, this is going to keep you nice and calm. Um, so tell me, what it is did you need to do to become part of this association? Okay, well first of all I um, travelled to Napoli. Yes. Um, I conducted an extensive um, course with the association. Yes. Um, I then um, was uh, you know able to work in Napoli at yes. some of the most famous pizzerias in Napoli yes um, once I finished that process then I was then put into an albo of pizzaioli um, which I'm the first in Australia to ever have been conducted in, into that that is that's album. absolutely huge and of course with the association and we might just take our viewers to a couple of things because it's, it starts off with what the basic ingredients of a pizza are, yes. which are basically flour, flour, doppio zero or zero, Do, doppio zero, doppio zero, double o, white yep. flour, yep. salt, salt, water, uh, water and yeast, and yeast, which can either be natural or brewer's yeast. Yes, that's right. And then you need uh, then no rolling pin, no rolling tutto pin. a mano, tutto vero? Mano. Tutto a mano. Yes, and uh, can I go on? Yes, with, go ahead. Yeah, with um, actually. Uh, rolling out a pizza, um, as you'll see, the Napolitani have a, a different style of, of um, rolling out. It's, um, it's very, the technique is very... Um, like uh, what? Tell me, tell well, me. It, Give me more. It's, it's not seen very much in, in pizzerias in Australia, um, but once you see me making um, the margarita or, or the marinara, you, you'll understand. Do you do that? I'm, no, none of that. 
that's that centrifugal thing that happens, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. Oh, God, I'm dying to see this. Okay, and of course, you need a proper pizza oven, which uh, requires it to be dome shaped. Yes. And basically, it has to be fired by wood. Wood, that's right. Nothing artificial. That's right. And the pizza has to go straight onto the floor of the actual pizza oven. Yep. Is that correct? Have I got yes, it right? That's right. And it's supposed to be cooked at 400 degrees for 90 mm -hmm. seconds at the most. Quattrocento gradi, that's hence right. the name of uh, the place where we are today. Yeah. And let's uh, go into the kitchen and we're going to see Johnny take us through the paces of making the perfect dough. And um, I'll be asking lots of questions about this later. I want some answers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get to the dough making process. Um, so we've got uh, one. 1 kilo 700 grams of flour in the bowl. Um, now, normally we use uh, around 3% uh, salt, which is uh, in this case around um, 55 grams of salt. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the salt in the flour and I'm going to mix that around. Now, the reason that we add the salt first um, is so that it doesn't react with the yeast. So, once I've mixed the salt around with the flour, I'm then going to add some water. So we make a little bit of a well in the center. And we're going to add only around half the amount of the water to start off with. And uh, then we start to mix. Now what we're going to do is we've got to make sure that we're not going to have any lumpy uh, spots in this flour. So we need to actually mix fairly well. Uh, so keep mixing. If you feel that it's a little bit um, dense, then just add a little bit more water and add the water as you go. I'm going to add some of this water into some fresh yeast. So what I'm going to achieve is some dissolving. As you can see, I'm going to dissolve the fresh yeast so that it becomes like a liquid. Once we've created the consistency that it is all liquid, we then add the yeast into the bowl. As I said before, we don't add the yeast and the salt at the same time because what the yeast can do is um, reduce the rising process. And what I've used is, again, one 0.7 kilos of flour, it's one liter of water, and 55 grams of salt, and around 50 grams of yeast. I'll turn it onto the bench. And what you might find that if it is too soft, you can add um, a little bit of flour to the mix. It also always depends on the meal of the flour. You may need more water, you may need more flour. Okay, so that's the, um, the final product uh, finished. Now once you've kneaded that dough, put it into a clean bowl. Uh, it, you can give it a little bit of um, a coating of oil so it doesn't dry out. Just give it a little bit of a patty. And then what I normally do is I would then cover it with some cling wrap and we're going to set that aside for at least three hours. Well, there you go, viewers. The art of making the perfect dough. And on the other side of the break, when we come back, Johnny's going to take us through his first pizza, which is? La Margarita. La Margarita. Yeah.